It's time that we remember what happened. I'm talking to myself here and I'm talking to you too, because I guarantee you, we fall, we sin, we say something, we let our emotions get the best of us. We don't get up in the morning to pray. And that is what I'm talking about for me today. My alarm went off at five and I said, oh, I am so tired. I have not been getting up in a energetic way. I don't know if it's this red meat, salt, now butter added diet or not, but I feel like when five o'clock rolls around, I'm like, you're kidding me. There's no way. Now I am taking three Benadryl before I go to bed and probably another three in the middle of the night, probably two o'clock when I go to bed. So I know that that is not helping me. But even, I don't know, four weeks ago when these hives started, I was so much more energetic. And then I get up at seven. Like my whole day is blown. And I don't know about you, but I love my mornings when I can get up, I can pray, I can take time to meditate and talk about what I need to talk about on this podcast. Today, I forgot all about my word of the day, even though they sent it to me late. The word was king. And if I reflect on that, God is not king of my life if I'm turning around and going back to sleep. I'm not serving him. I'm not giving him my first fruits because then when I wake up, it's eight o'clock right now. My contractors are probably going to come into this house while I'm doing this podcast. So I'll scoot out to the porch. And then I just feel rushed. I don't feel right. So this is what I have to remember. So tomorrow when that alarm goes off at five, I will try my best to remember what I felt like today. If we can remember when we fall, when we sin, when we do something that we know God is not going to be pleased about, and how we feel, how we feel so disappointed in ourselves because we disappointed him, then maybe, just maybe, we won't do it. And that's where I'm at. I have got to remember how I felt today. And when that alarm goes off, just get up, whip off those covers, spin the legs around. We just talked about this last night on my live on YouTube and LinkedIn. I tried to do it on Instagram and we had some technical difficulties. (coughs) Excuse me. Sorry about that. But if I push stop, then I have to totally re-record it. So I had to sneeze on the mic. (laughs) Sorry. So last night we were talking about spiritual battle. If you joined last night, we had some technical difficulties. We're going to reconvene on Wednesday, same time, 6.30 p.m. Central Time, because we got off on a bunch of other tangents, which is great because that is what the live is all about. It's engaging with one another and making sure that we talk about what the comments are, and sometimes it goes off topic, which is okay. All right, I digress. Back to remembering what I feel like. We talked about yawning. Yawning is an actual spirit. It's called out. It's named yawning. Sneezing is another one. Hiccups is another one. So while I was in bed, I did not even fight it. The alarm went off. I was woken up out of a deep, dark sleep. And I just said, no way. Just turned it off. Didn't even reset it. And then when I woke up, it was 7 o'clock. Now, maybe my body needed that sleep. You can use a lot of excuses. You really can. Oh, I, I needed that rest. I must have been super tired. But no. If I got up and started my day with God, praying, taking my time, boiling some water, putting some stuff in it, I don't know if I would put butter in it or not, but I would just enjoy the morning, waking up, because it's dark at five now. Before it was lighter, it was actually lit. My house was lit up, 
at 5 o'clock because the sun was coming up about 4.30. We all have to remember how we feel when we do things that we know A, aren't good for us, and B, are not going to start our day off on the right foot. I should have done what I said last night, just swing my legs out of the bed, got up. That's the first step. But I didn't even contemplate it. I did in my head. I went, oh, I'm supposed to get up and pray, but I'm so tired. Click, done. Right back to bed I went. And that, to me, is copping out on God. Because now it's 8 o'clock, people are going to start coming here, and my day is going to start. And I haven't even had a moment to really wake up. I forgot all about my word of the day for Annunciation Radio. Thank God that is on my alarm. 7.30, it starts dinging, and I'm like, what in the world is that? Oh my gosh, I forgot all about the radio. So then I had to quickly meditate. See, if I would have gotten up, I would have gone through texts and emails too and have known, oh yeah, it's Annunciation Radio today. I wouldn't have been panicked trying to pull together in 10 minutes what I'm supposed to say about the word king. So I didn't serve the king today. And I need to remember how this feels, how chaotic I already feel. How the day has already started and it's already 8 o'clock. And for me, I should have been up for three hours already. That's why we reflect. (laughs) That's why we have to remember, especially when we fall. If you're still addicted to something, whether it's porn or substances or people or even your job, we have to remember that God comes first. And what we need to do is allow him in and serve him as king, the king of all kings, the Lord of all lords. And then our day will be on the right foot. Turn to him throughout the day. So now I'm going to have to rely on me turning to him. I have to stay here till 10. And then I've got to go drive for like an hour and a half because there's no Chase Bank anywhere near me. I've got to go to Nashville to go to Chase. Isn't that crazy? Because I've got to get some cash for this guy. Anyway, while I am in that car, I am going to be silent. I am going to pray. I'm going to give it to God that time. It's like an hour or 15 minutes. And make up for my morning where I chose myself and not him. All right, everyone, let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, please come into our hearts, into our minds, into our souls, into our bodies. Help us to remember the pain and the shame and the disappointment that we feel when we fall, when we turn away from you, whether it be choosing not to pray or committing a sin or treating others as if they are less than. We need to remember how bad it feels how we don't want to feel that way. We would much rather walk in your path, stay on the straight and narrow, and be with you all day, every day. I cry out to you for all of the people who don't start your day, their day with you, just like I did today, Lord. I was selfish. I don't remember what you did on the cross, how tired you were for that Holy Thursday and that Good Friday where you were exhausted, you had no food, you were beaten to a bloody pulp, you carried your cross that I was sitting on adding so much weight, then hung on it for three hours for love of me. 
Help us all to think about what you have sacrificed for us so that we can sacrifice our small little sacrifices like getting up or turning from sin or being kind to that person we don't necessarily want to be kind to. You led the way. Help us to love you and act as if you are the thing in our life, which you should be. Again, you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. You have power over evil. You should rule our lives. And we beg right now, we beseech you to do that, to come into our hearts, to change our desires, and to be humble enough to know that we cannot do it without you. We cannot do our day. We cannot do our life without you. And if we do, then we are prideful, and we are doing our will, not yours. And now, Lord, we are going to pray for all of the souls in purgatory by name that you please bring them into your heavenly kingdom now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, please pray to Jesus. Help pour down grace into our hearts so that we can love and we can be humble and do God's will and put him first in our life before everything. In your holy, healing, kingship name, Lord, we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, I hope to get an Ethernet connection wire somewhere while I'm out doing, I should probably write a list while I'm running these errands (laughs) so that I can plug in for tomorrow. Tomorrow, again, the live will continue. It will be about the spiritual battle and the examples and the situations that we've got to discern and fight. So it'll be Wednesday, tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Central Time. And I hope you all join. It'll be, it'll be on YouTube and Facebook and LinkedIn. I tried to do Instagram. Maybe I can do Instagram if I plug in. I can try it again. Okay. I love you all so much. Please find something more with God today. Soul, mind, and body. And have a blessed and inspired day. Okay, now I gotta, my phone went dead. Okay, bye.